as just is said. anybody on there and we, nobody's on here but okay. we just want to point out that the the time on the finance and personnel agenda did say six o'clock so we are here uh, but we're not discussing anything because we don't have a full committee so i'm going to pause the recording again until everybody else comes probably close to 6 30. okay you don't have to start the meeting yeah just we'll, saying we'll add official then <laughs> I don't know, Steve. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to start bringing my readers in too. Let's I keep some, extra ones in here. Get some. What what strength are they? Are they weak? Weak. Yeah. No, that would maybe work. Maybe Fifteen power. There's a pair here too. That's the ones. Some. Um, I mean, I can read them. Emily was I, worried because she's like, somebody left their glasses. I'm like, yeah, I did because I have the board members that don't. Getting to the point where I might. <laughs> thank you. I might need them. <laughs> Up to you. I don't know what's like, what strength they are, but I may be on those. So many cotton readers, and then you had to go to the permanent. Yeah. Well, these are these are a little stronger than my ones at home. Oh, never mind then. Sorry. No, but thank you. Those are hard to try. <laughs> I don't know if people heard that Lance, um, Adam's mom passed away. I did. Yeah. Oh, she did. Yeah. Yeah. His sister posted something about it yeah. yesterday, right? Should yeah, I? yesterday it was. Oh. She's been banned, but so she's she had must... health issues for years. A long time, yeah. I think that Lori must have been using voice to text when she posted her Facebook message because it said my mom, Genesis. And I'm like, who's Genesis? Yeah. Janice. Oh, I Janice saw that. Hess. So yeah. it's like, <laughs> it took me a bit to fit. I'm like, Jan Janice Hess. Yeah, I saw like, that too, Genesis. And it's how, like, and how old yeah. was she? Because I, I think she, she, yeah. She was quite a bit younger, I think, than Adam. I, yeah. I want to see. Is that her husband? Totally yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. It looks like it's 30 So let's call to order. Verification meeting notice posted and on the web. Um, motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, discussion of bills and balances. Okay. First one I have is 50806. The CISA three two thousand three hundred thirty three dollars. It said goal book and some training. I was wondering what goal book was. Goal book is a new um, uh, special ed thing, okay. and our four elementary three four elementary teachers wanted to use it because it can type right in it. It gives ideas, and um, they were trained on it and they loved it, so we went for it. So. Like you type in an issue that you're having and then has possible solutions. That's yep. neat. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Then I had, I don't really have a question about these. I just want to bring them up so people understand, you know, how expensive things are. But I have 50829 to the Richland Observer, $1,321. And then there are two to WRCO, 50835 and 50928. For 1392 and 1302, respectively. 50928? Yes. Uh huh. And then so 50835 was 1392, and the other one was 1302. I understand what they're for and everything, but it's just one of those things. It's like $4,000 in a month's time. People don't understand how expensive everything is that we have to do. We, we were talking about the advertising for positions, how. Expensive Much that has yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just thought the public should be aware. Yeah. Okay. Then I had a question about 50838 through 50879 for the school fair. We were just making jokes at the last board meeting about how we have such small checks. Isn't it silly? Blah, blah, blah. Is there a way we can 
like any of the school fair things that are under ten dollars pay out of like petty cash or we something? normally do that's what i was wondering we normally do we don't okay. normally do it by checks but we did it this time because we didn't some of the kids are virtual some of the kids are okay here okay and there wasn't a day to pick them up at that you know all right so we wonder, cut checks because i'm year. like well how did i miss this the last two years oh i didn't okay yeah, yeah. so right. we that's normally fine. don't but we decided that it was better to not handle mm -hmm. cash Right, and that's the okay. whole COVID thing yeah. is part of it. Too, and I so. didn't even think of that, and that makes sense. All right, I'll cross that out. Okay, then I had 50888 to Blick Art Supplies. Again, I don't really have any questions on it. I just wanted to, people to be aware. $6,596.60. Yep. And that wasn't even her only one. There was another one earlier that was a lesser amount, too, and I didn't write that one down. But And then um, 50890. CISA three, it's the quarterly billing for $9,383. Again, I don't have a question about it. What was the amount again? Uh, $9,383. And then I just have one more. I had a question on 50896 to Johnson and Block for $3,480. It just said professional service and it said Gasby 73, 74, it's, and 75. It's, bought, it's the audit. It's still a preliminary. Just, We've, yeah. yeah. They just sent me the um, draft copy that I didn't take time to read over the weekend. <laughs> Why not? Because, because it's too. now, instead of being like 30 pages, it's like 70 some pages. Oh, now. really? Yes. Yeah. A little light reading for your weekend. Anyway, yeah. Bedtime reading. <laughs> <laughs> You're not feeling tired, just cut, cuddle up with So them. I got to get through that this week so I can tell them, yep, yep or no, you got to change this. This isn't, you know. Okay. So audit fees, and it's not even the final. There's more. No, there'll fees. be more. Okay. That's all I had. Did you have anything, Linda, that I missed? I just had the, is that right? Handwriting with tears and learning with tears? Without. 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 Oh. That, that comes next month. <laughs> <with a stick. laughs> Okay. For those who didn't learn the first oh, time around. I had to miss out on the second one. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Got that. All right. But you're good then? Yeah, I'm good then. Did you um, have anything, Steve? No. And just, you know, as, as we talk about expenses, you know, our PT and OT to Richland Hospital was $27.97.46. So, oh, there wasn't much to. There was a lot of onesie twosie stuff. All right, so I guess that went pretty quickly. Do we have any other financial matters to talk about? Well, do you think, Cheryl, can you kind of, as as we move forward with maybe bringing on more people in that, I mean, we are the finance committee and you, you said, now how's this going to get paid for? So do you have any concerns to... Well, the big thing is, is what are we, where are we at with the COVID? I mean, yeah, we haven't know. really spent that much more. We had 23,000. Yeah, I think so. The and last we, meeting, yeah. Yeah, so we haven't really added no, to so that. We got like 40 some thousand left in there or more, right? At least. Well, I think the one was 60 and the other was 42, yeah. wasn't it? So we so have like hundred there was a thousand. Yeah, yeah, we have about a hundred. So um, we did some costing about the uh, paraprofessional and substitute teachers. So what Kathleen wants to do is hire two full-time paraprofessionals. They work four days a week. They're here regardless. So with full-time paraprofessionals or no substitutes? Benefits. No, this is a full-time substitute teacher. But They're if you say full-time, is it 40 hours? I mean, is it over no, 30 hours? No, four days a week. We're watching their hours. Okay, so it's not full-time then. Sorry. Okay. So they're in the building Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday under the 30, 30 hours. hour threshold. That's what I was queuing okay. in full time. Okay. That means they get benefits and okay, got it. Okay. But, um, and they know that they'll be here no matter what, unless they of course get sick or need to be quarantined also. Um, one, we asked both of them and they both agreed, but then one got a counter offer from River Valley at 150 a day. Wow. School districts are getting desperate. Well, they are. Yes. I right. mean, it's, it's, yeah. so I said, I, all I can do is bring it to the board. The other one was okay with the um, $17 an hour. We figured it out. So it was a little bit more than. Did you originally have four possibilities in mind? Yeah. So could we just offer it to the next one? On we the could. Um, Kathleen had objections to all of them. Oh, okay. um, well. 
I don't remember what they all were, but these are certified teachers. They are truly our only certified teachers. And the other ones are certified substitute teachers. So that's a possibility that if you guys don't want to do that, and again, that's your choice. Um, we would, so we figured out it was $34,000 for the two of them. I wasn't in on that. I think you and Brooke worked that out. We, so. we figured out it was for the two of them for the thir three quarters at the prices, it's about $34,000 from now to the end of the school year. And we haven't, I don't, I haven't heard from Brooke, but we have, we, we don't have any of the part-time paras yet. We do have our cleaning lady wants to scoot from that job. And I just gave an application out to a young lady who is fluent in Spanish. Oh, okay. English is second language, graduated from Richland. Okay. Very interested. So there are people that want jobs. And and what is our bus situation? So we're paying Colvin's or a, yes, we're a paying substitute Col from Colvin's or how does that yeah, work? Yeah, Colbuson um, charges $142.50 all route. Um, and I asked them to book it out for 10 or 14 days. Um, and now we have no COVID in any of the bus drivers. So the, the one person was told to stay home and get healthy. And we're still, they still like to have bus attendants because with the curtaining around the um, drivers, the masks and all the kids masks, it, nobody can hear anything. And the bus drivers have a hard time seeing through all the plastic. Yeah, so they funny. still, yeah, they still want attendants to help them even though we're not doing temperatures, but um, they still want somebody to be able to wander the bus and say, sit down, put your mask on, quit touching, where are your hands, you know, all that kind of stuff. So for, the, for the co-bus in person, I said, let's just, because I, I, I don't want to stop it too soon. Cobus is going to work this whole week and then be done. So our bus driver will be back on the 16th. If he feels well enough to come back, he can either stop for somebody else or he can be one of the attendees. And I was telling Linda that Reedsburg had to call. Yep. Cobus Reedsburg needed contract with them too because yeah. drivers are out. Right now they're getting two full-time routes from Cobus in two in the morning, two at night. I'm surprised that they called Lambers. Isn't that closer to Reedsburg? I don't know. Oh well, not that it matters, just curiosity. They might have tried them and they don't have I guess. any. Yeah, they could yeah. Have. you never know. Everybody's short. Yeah. So I'm very thankful that they were able to have somebody and it was a very nice driver. And um, the only thing that's not turning out so right, he's not always in the right order. So we just make an announcement. Don't forget. Your bus is, your bus is here. here. Go by the number, not by the number in line. Remember it says the bus on the side. On the side of the bus. So, just a little reminder for all the kids. It's a little game, you know. Find your bus. Yeah. <laughs> Find Waldo. Yep. <laughs> okay, any other financial matters? We'll have um, some recommendations from the buildings and grounds uh, later tonight. You see them on here on snowfall bids. Okay. We had, uh, I think, a couple this year. Yep. Um, and we're, we're, we're going to recommend that we stay with um, D it's D and P, it's which is something now. different now, right? Patriot, Patriot, Patriot whatever. Um, just because their their rates are better um, okay. than what um, Bindles and um, the other one was Bindles that had it, and they they bid um, by the so if you get one to three inches, four to six, whatever. And um, D and P is just it's so much a thing. Um, and then um, Bindles was more expensive, like for salting and sanding and stuff like that, whereas D and P wasn't as much on either of those. Okay. So um, Frank was in and walked us through. And, and I know and Frank and I talked about because Binda one always mixes his salt with sand and then the amount of tracking into the building. And, oh, yeah. Right. And Frank we're, asked we're in favor. So like when they, when they come, DMP comes and say they, they go and get a ton of salt and they come here and they use a quarter of a ton. Frank asked him, well, then are you going to take that someplace else and we pay for it? And he said, no, they have a scale on their truck so they know how much they use and we only get filled for 
what we okay, use. That's so, nice. yeah, yes, that's it went up a little from last year, but not much like ten dollars an hour or something. But it was at least we had more than one bid this year, yeah, and it was nice to see that. That, um, so the truck was ten dollars more an hour, and the loader was twelve dollars more an hour, but everything else did the same. And then the it's same thing this year anyway. with the with the church. They they do the church parking lot only on the days that we're in school. So like on the weekend, they don't do the church parking lot. The church has to do it. Yeah. So same as up. That's always okay. been everything. Everything will basically stay the same except the price goes up. But it was nice to have. Uh, Choice. Another another bid just to yeah. verify that we almost had a third one. Yeah, but and then, then they, they pulled got, out because they they got a job. Somebody from Muscadet, and they got they landed a big job down there, so they knew they wouldn't be able to be here on time right. or timely fashion. So, yeah. but it was nice to have that. And then what else? What the else is floor. On? Yeah. So what that is is, I thought they were coming with like coverings for the gym floor, like what we have up here. Oh. It's not. The it's kitchen. for the kitchen floor. Now the tiles that are in there, they're redoing some of that. They're, they're taking a countertop and a cabinet from up here that came out of that room that we made in the office and putting it down there. Well, underneath that, the, the tiles are asbestos that are in there and they don't want to rip them up. <laughs> they're so flaking. They're, 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 they can just cover those with uh, like a- uh, Laminate or- Yeah, uh, uh, what do you call it? Sealant? Uh, Vinyl? Uh, no, L LTV. There you go. Yeah. So that new flooring. So they'll cover that. And he, he talked to the abatement guys, and that's perfectly fine to cover it. But then that won't be exposed and be out. Um, and it's okay. it's like thirteen hundred or something. It's not very much, but anyways, that'll be the that'll cover the last of the tile or that has asbestos in it, and that'll be. Oh, and they thought it was a good time to do that all, all that at once because you know when you got a cabinet out, put a cabinet right, down. Right. Yeah. I would take care of that and there's nobody using it now so a bunch of the stuff um larry and frank larry especially can do and do a couple of little fix ups and paints and stuff like that and have it done. so okay. i thought they were talking like a floor gym yeah. floor covering and i'm like what but no so i'm kitchen. doing kitchen on the yeah. agenda tonight. <laughs> yeah. so. you go the kitchen. i see it i yep. see it so good that job. was oh we had they had two different they had bids for two different things and the one we're recommending is the less expensive one. There are two different kinds of LVT, and this was, you know, it's not that big area, so. Yeah. But okay. but speaking of that and the floor covering, with winter coming and with that being used as a classroom, and kids maybe walking down in the slush. <coughs> yeah, I. How I, we how are we going to protect that floor? Yeah, we probably need to get more rugs entry rugs in where they walk in where they can you know dry their feet better than what they normally because I know a lot of times on um, you know if you get in basketball games you know basketball games you've been down there you know Mr. Rice was always constantly going around with a towel yeah yeah um so I'll talk this, to Frank about yeah that. <laughs> they could rent some you know at least or whatever they do the the rugs yeah, we normally buy them from, I think it's from Delco or okay. Northwoods or somebody is who we buy them from. Sure. So, But they probably need to be bigger and longer right. yes, because right. it's yep. going to have everyday use mm -hmm. and it's not going to be with tennis shoes. No. So we'll and, you know, the one thing they could do is, you know, kind of depending on what door they go in and out of. So I suppose they probably go in this closer door more, but, you know, you can... You could potentially move some of those other rugs around too mm -hmm. to increase that area. Okay. Or we could yeah. route them through that other door. That would be even better. You know, because you have a longer area yep. to kind of contain them. So, yeah. Well, I think the only other financial thing that I had on the board agenda was just a, a discussion about tech help, and mainly for the parents. So I don't know if there's even anything out there, but if I can even get another t um, student helper to help, just with the little things that, to see if Schoology is working, to talk a parent through, okay, click here, try this, try this, uh, like a helpline kind of a thing is what I was looking at. Of course, down the line, we'll need more, but I have no idea if that even exists. <laughs> so I just thought we should have a discussion about it. What does Adam think? 
Do you think that's a great idea? But does he have any ideas for how to implement anything? Or he was thinking another student helper would be great. Okay. Um, so he suggested even one from the Southwest Tech IT program. Okay. Because they do internships or mm -hmm. whatever, you know. Right. Yeah, I mean, if it was a help desk thing, it could even be somebody at home. The call could be routed that mm -hmm. way. Yeah. I guess yeah. look into it and bring back some options and what it might be. Yeah. But again, put it on the agenda just right. so that we can have a discussion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else? All right. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 There we go. We're all done. Yeah. Okay. We just started the. We just ended finance. So right. We're going to start. We're in, we're, yep. We're in guest seating for the. Oh, and usually we're going to kind of spread out. All right. That's right. Yes. Unless it gets really bad, then we put a couple people in. Okay. Right. Okay. Did you get my email? Yep. Okay. Thanks. So, Al, do you know to those people that used to live in that trailer, have they moved away? Which trailer? Tiny Kitty Carter from the church. I have no idea. Okay. You mean the in the? I think Gary Wiedenfeld owns that trailer. I'm not for sure. Well, you mean the prefab home? Well, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The modular mm -hmm. home. Um, I'll have to look when I'm up there next. Because I mean, there's chickens and ducks. <laughs> well, there was goats. Well, no, uh, those. Yes, there was. Because there oh, was yeah, goats. there were, but all those other animals are gone, and I think the house is empty. Okay, because there was uh, goats in the cemetery one day. <laughs> yeah, they came and visited us, too. <laughs>